Hello again, I'm Philippa Thomas and you're watching Impact from the BBC. Our main news today, Samsung is stopping all production of its Galaxy Note 7. This follows continuing reports of the smartphones bursting into flames. The Afghan government sends reinforcements to Helmand province as it fights to retain control of Lashkar, which is being attacked by the Taliban. Now, have you ever gone for a run or gone to the gym to let off steam because you're cross or particularly stressed? Well, a new international health study claims that doing just that, exercising vigorously when angry or upset, could significantly increase the risk of a heart attack. Well, with me is trainer and fitness industry expert, Helly Hammonds. Uh, Helly has her own studio here in London called Gym Class. And Helly, I hear from those who know that these are some of the toughest sessions in London. You do believe in really pushing people. Yeah, we do. We do believe um, our, our concept is based on HIT training, which is high intensity interval training. And it is pushing people to their max. But when we say that, it's pushing people to their max. So everybody has different levels. So we're not going to push the beginner to, to how we would push the advanced person in the class. But just tell us a bit more about the, the HIT training. So what is it for a minute on, a minute off? Or how does um, it work? What we do is because we train all day, every day, and people come to our classes at gym class a lot of the time, we mix it up constantly. But it can it's in short bursts it can be 20 seconds on 10 seconds off a minute on as you said you know probably 30 seconds off we don't give people that long off <laughs> um, and and yeah and it's just to get the most out of people lead very very inactive lives so within that short period of time where they come to us we're trying to get the most out of their bodies what do you think of this uh, research because it is very significant we were just saying mm -hmm. 12,000 patients yeah. in 52 countries questioned about this and you must see people yeah who come in from a fairly sedentary job but very stressed yeah I mean we get people uh, London life is very crazy very stressful so we get people who are very stressed but this study um, it's a lot of people that they've um, they've surveyed but they've actually people who've had a heart attack so there's no looking at what happened to them before the state that they were in their health their fitness I think we have to be careful We've just so got people, people moving with a prior history of heart prior trouble. history, um, and you know, if you do have a prior history, that's where you know coming to somewhere that's an experienced professional environment to train. We can help people. When what do you do if you're taking a class, and obviously there'll be a lot of people who love it, who are yeah. pushing themselves, who in a way want to suffer because it's going to help yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. But what do you do when you notice people who really can't cope? Well, we're experts. You know, we, we have small class sizes. We're able to, all of our, tra our staff are trained really highly by myself, under myself, and we're able to look for that. I mean, you can see somebody deteriorating in front of your eyes. You can't really push yourself more than... It's I mean, physically I've heard possible. stories of people being sick because they get. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that happens, yeah, yeah, doesn't yeah, yeah. it? That happens, and you know somebody with um, bad health, a, a pre-existing heart condition, or anybody that's you know back to exercise after a, after a break. We always advise those people the first six sessions go slow. You're not in competition with anybody. You're only in competition with yourself and you're just trying to, you know, look after people the best that you can. But we just cannot, in England, we've just started to get people really into exercise. Studies like this are amazing, but they shouldn't be taken out of context. Health, the benefits that exercise gives to people is incredible. So this is not an excuse for everyone to go back to the sofa? It's definitely not. It's definitely not. But, you know, we've got to be mindful. Stress does affect your body and even just for the normal person in London the average person we're in, in in anywhere we're carrying so much stress even just on your walk to the gym try and deload that stress and then walk into the session if you've got more to give that day not because of anger <laughs> give it if you if you're feeling full of energy give it if you're not take it back it's better to move a bit than not at all Helly so, Hammond thank you very much I think you. that's the longest you sat still <laughs> in a while but I appreciate it thanks so thank much.